Here in the Fairfield area, approximately 100 meter of riprap structure has already been completed. Just behind me is an excavator that is stockpiling the boulders that would have come off of the barge. Just out to the Atlantic Ocean, you'll see that another barge is on its way. Now at this site, works are being done by ANS General Contractors Inc. and to date 5,000 tons of boulders would have been brought in. Further east, the National Drainage and Irrigation Authority has played a major role. Now since the last spring tide, two diesel pumps would have been put in place in Cottage and one at Danzig to help to drain the Bellamy Canal into the Atlantic Ocean. I can tell you that another pump is on its way to Danzig and four pumps altogether will help to alleviate the flooding situation in this area. The Woodlands Mahaika Sluice is the only one that drains the Bellamy Canal and will be operational to ensure maximum drawdown of water during the low tide periods. Now over in Danzig Maikoni, we're standing along the access dam that is being used by BK International to execute much needed emergency works along the foreshore. Just behind me is an excavator that is being used to widen the dam and to also empolder it to minimize flooding in the residential areas. Now, just to give you an understanding of what is taking place here at Danzig, truckloads of dirt is being brought to support the boulders that are being placed to arrest the breach. Execution of the emergency works has been no easy task. Four barges have sunken since the last spring tide, and a tonk has sunk about two weeks ago, all due to the ferocious waves of the Atlantic Ocean. Additionally, limited access to the breached area has resulted in the contractors working progressively inward from both eastern and western ends of the breaches. The Civil Defense Commission, CDC, wishes to advise the public, particularly those residing along the coastal belt of Guyana, regions 2 through 6, to enforce the following precautions in order to minimize damages to property and prevention of any health hazard. Report any sea defense breaches place sandbags where needed, unplug all electrical items, place all important documents in sealed plastic bags or containers and place in a safe space, elevate all household furniture and appliances, relocate livestock to higher ground, create containerized storage for drinking and cooking water, use purification tablet as prescribed, ensure children and elderly stay clear of flooded water, Visit the nearest health center if you experience any skin irritation or feel sick. The spring tides will last from October 25 through November 1.